Hey everybody, KC here. So I get this email newsletter from Salon, it's called The Bite. And the one I got a couple of days ago, I have to tell you, not only was I enormously touched by this uh, essay written by a guy named Michael LaCourt, uh, but it was incredibly relevant to the things we uh, write about and talk about a lot here on Morning Newsbeat. And basically he starts out by talking about how November 20th, 2021, five days before Thanksgiving, two weeks before his wedding anniversary with my mother, and three weeks before his 74th birthday, my dad passed away suddenly and unexpectedly. For as long as I can recall, uh, Michael LaCourt writes, my father had been renowned for his tuna. Og's famous, famous tuna was requested by many a family member and friend, and the inexplicably creamy delicacy was the epitome of no frills. Bumblebee tuna in water and Hellman's mayonnaise blended in a food processor or with a hand beater until the disparate elements became one with each other. No, no salt, no pepper, no celery, no garnishes. The aroma would fill the kitchen, though, because he'd often make large batches of this concoction. It wasn't even so much a recipe as it was a method. And it was funny, he, he, he writes about every time my brother came home, I'd walk upstairs and immediately be, be greeted by the familiar nostalgic aroma of tuna and mayonnaise, the sounds of the food processor or hand blender going, and it would run and run. My dad didn't merely stir or blend, he basically liquefied the tuna and blended until the tuna and mayo had become one and the same. No matter the situation, the season, the holiday, the extenuating circumstance, there was always tuna. It was our constant. And it was that, I mean, first of all, it's not fancy, right? It's not, it's not, it's not gourmet, it's not specialty, but it's the kind of thing that, you know, you can, you can just actually smell it and think of it and see it. And, and the way it allowed, it became the glue around the family's life is just, is incredibly powerful. Again, the thing we talk about all the time here on Morning News Beat, how important food is and how retailers should do a better job using food and stressing the fact that it is a connector in communities, in families. It's incredibly important. He goes on, my father and I connected through food. It was our primary connection. He'd pick up food for me during his trips to ShopRite. He'd come home with candy. If I even whispered that I was craving something, he'd somehow magically conjure said item and bring it home that night. When it came to food, I never had to want. He had a long list of favorite foods, single chocolate layer cakes, pudding pies, crispy creams, salted pistachios and cashews, burgers and fries from a local cherished burger spot, um, and macaroni. He adored Russell Stover pecan delights, dark chocolate raisinets, milk duds, 100 grand and peanut chews. Listen, you know, there are a lot of retailers in the business of selling, but food retailers are incredibly lucky because they get to focus on food. And if you're a food retailer and you're not exploiting that advantage, you're not exploiting the possibilities inherent in food, then you're making a mistake. You're missing an enormous opportunity. And, you know, sometimes I write that and I think people think, oh, I'm talking about fancy stuff that, you know, but it doesn't have to be. Sometimes it's as simple as tuna and Hellman's mayonnaise. It ain't fancy. But it is the kind of it is the kind of thing that binds people together in a way that is sustainable and not in the traditional in the traditional sustainable sense, and in a way that that touches people's hearts and their minds and their stomachs. And again, if you're not paying attention to this as an enormous opportunity, this is the thing that differentiates you. This is the thing that makes you a category killer. If you're not using it then you're not using all the tools available to you. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.